Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? Smart Davis here, back at it again with another video. And today we are going to get the engine for the go kart, and I'm super excited for this one. And I will see you when we get there. All right, boys, we got the engine. We're taking the go kart over to the service station, which is just my house. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna get installed. We're gonna. Well, I'll see you in a minute. All right, boys, here it is. We're about to unbox it. Be back in one second, boy. All right, boys, there it is. We got it out of the box. It did come with the key. Um, I do not know if it is going to mount into the existing mount holes, but I'm sure going to try. Um, I'll be back once I've got it mounted, and then we'll try and do a first uh, test start. All right, guys, I'm headed to Ace in the uh, Straight Pipe 96 to go get the bolts for the mounting plate. I've got um, the correct nuts and they're they're uh, lock nuts so I don't need the lock washers and I've got the correct flat washers so um, it's just gonna be I just need a uh, four bolts for it so I'll be back when I've got those I figured I would include a uh, bonus rip because um, all we ever do is talk about go-karts it's pretty loud Straight pipes are fun. All right, guys, we have got them installed. Got all the bolts installed. It's nice and solid in there. All I need to do is grab some oil and some gas, and we will fire this thing up. Obviously, it's not attached to anything. But I just want to fire it up, make sure it runs. How many pulls do you think it's going to take, Sean? Five or six. I don't know for sure, though. All right, I'm saying two. Two? All right, let's get the, the fuel on, which it already was on, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Get the throttle up. All right, get the ignition switch off. This is kind of difficult to do because of the way the engine is mounted, but it's okay. All right, you said five or six, right? Yeah. I said two, right? Yeah. All right, let's go. It's not one, not two, three, four, it coughed, five, six, all right. We're gonna jump cut to when this is working. All right, so it's been probably 30 pulls. Um, I just put oil in it, so my best guess is that it hasn't tripped the uh, the oil sensor yet to let it know that it can go. The ignition's on, fuel's on, choke is on, I've tried choke on, choke half on, and choke off. The ignition is on, it's really difficult to see and kind of difficult to ask access. But I know the ignition is on. Um, I've tried throttle, both high and low. I'm also going to probably install the throttle cable in the next video, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. But we will figure it out. All right, boys. Here we go. Fuel on. Boom. Choke. A little bit on. Boom. Throttle. On. Boom. Ignition on, boom. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, so the issue was having is that uh, the I didn't get enough oil into it because the low oil sensor wasn't tri was tripping because I didn't get enough oil into it. Even though it was dripping out of the spout on flat ground, I jacked up the back end so it sloped and then got more oil into it and then it worked fine. Anyways, that's working. We got a bit of an issue here because uh, there's the end of the bolts there. So even if I space out the sprocket all the way to the end of the bolts, it's still not gonna be able to hit the clutch. So I'll probably end up gonna have, going to end up having to do is cutting the pipe, cutting it back three inches, and then rewelding it to make the pipe shorter. Also, you'll notice there's a gap here. And then over here, you notice the wheel is under the bar by like an inch. So, we think that'll also just make it look better. It'll look, make it look more symmetrical. So, uh, next video will most likely will be ho hooking up the throttle cable. And then after that, we'll probably be welding this. Anyways, thank you for watching. You are beautiful people. Thanks, and bye-bye.